good very early morning it is just after 5 a.m here in las vegas this is day one of ces for me my first trip ever and dji has already before the conference even started released a new product this is the dji smart controller for the Mavic 2 series. So DJI, this is something that's been expected for a while. Uh, DJI just released a video on YouTube about this. I'm sure by the time you probably are watching this, we'll know much more about it, but I wanted to get this video out. The conference actually starts about 10 a.m. here in Vegas. It's only uh, 5.20 a.m. right now uh, as I'm recording this and this is the new controller. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about it, what I know based off of the video from the YouTube, uh, what I saw in it, and I'm going to leave you a link to the video so that you guys can go check it out for yourselves as well. So uh, what we know is that it has a 5.5 inch, what they're calling an ultra bright screen, uh, on the remote controller itself. This is very similar to what uh, DJI has released in the past for the uh, Phantom line. They had the uh, Plus series there. It seems very similar to the OcuSync uh, controller as well, uh, where you have an actual Android device on here. Now, there's gonna be some differences. This is gonna be much better than the Crystal Sky in one re respect, which is that you can actually put your own apps on it. It runs Android and that they make it look like you can actually have your own apps on it. So let's scrub through this. And so they say there is a 5.5 inch screen here. They say it is ultra bright two times. They show another phone next to it there. And you can see that it is they say that it's two times brighter. So that is great for use in bright sunshine. As a lot of you guys know who are using phones, it is very hard to see your screen sometimes in the bright sunshine. So what else can we see in here? They say it's, of course, it's using OcuSync 2.0. So you're going to get the same distance as your regular controller. They say you're going to have uh, up to eight kilometers, of course, which is similar. They say that you're gonna be able to get up and going much faster than you can with a regular phone because you aren't going to have to set up your phone, get it plugged in, turn on the app and all that kind of stuff. It's, so you're gonna be able to get up much quicker. They show 30 seconds for getting up and flying with the uh, new remote controller and a minute 30 using your phone to get up and going. They say that it's gonna have real-time switching between uh, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. So again, just like the regular remote controller, which is great. They also say, this is what's interesting. This is one thing that piques my interest is right here. So they say that it is going to have 4K 60p output to an HDMI connection. So that is actually a big question, right? So is the Mavic 2 line gonna get 4K 60p? Right now it only, it's only got 30p. So they say this has 4K 60p. Is this going to be uh, kind of a foreshadowing of what's coming with the Mavic 2 line? I'm curious to know, that's very interesting. They say that it'll charge in two hours right here and it looks like it's a USB-C cable that it connects to. You can use it for up to 2.5 hours. So you got 2.5 hours of usage time and it takes two hours to recharge fully. Here they say that it goes from minus 20 Celsius and up to 40 C in the heat. They also have this Go Share. So can you see that right there? There is a go share link right there uh, that is going to allow you to transfer your files to your phone, which is interesting. So they show here that you're going to be able to share from the remote controller, which is running Android to your phone over here. And this looks like, I think this is in DJI Go 4 right here on this phone uh, with a new tab called go share. So there's album. So I think, that they're going to be an update to the DJI Go 4 app that's going to allow you to be able to synchronize. You can use it with the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Zoom, as well as the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And this is the screen that I think is also interesting here is that 
you can see there are different apps on this. So there's Google Earth on here, there's Twitter, there's uh, Piccolage, there's Yahoo, there's Facebook, all on this screen right here. So you can run it on, this is running Android, and unlike the Crystal Sky, which is really, really locked down on what you can download, it looks to me like they can actually, you can actually download other apps. And that's been one of the complaints with the Crystal Sky is that you couldn't actually download other apps and do other things. It was really locked down. So th that's uh, something very interesting here. Choose your apps. That will be interesting. And again, they show Chrome there and they show maps there and they show Instagram and Facebook and WeChat. That makes it much more functional to be able to do other things, get more creative. Sometimes when you get locked down like that, then it just is not near as useful because it doesn't allow you to do the workflow that you want to do. A lot of times you want to be able to just take a little quick uh, video or picture via your, uh, uh, via your uh, drone and then be able to upload it to social media right away and being able to have those on your controller right there is muy bueno. What I don't know is the price or the availability. So those are two things that I'm looking forward to. I think throughout the day, uh, we're gonna get more information. One of the first uh, booths that I'm gonna try and go to today is going to be DJI, so I can try and ask some of these questions today and get answers for you guys. So uh, watch my other social media, watch for Twitter, watch for Instagram, watch for my Facebook page. Those are linked down below. Check those out. This is the DJI Smart Controller. This is the first CES update that we have. I'm looking forward to it. Leave me comments down below. What do you guys think of this DJI Smart Controller? What do you guys think I should check out while I'm here at CES? Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Kluji. Uh, this is the Kluji Tech Time, and watch out for a lot of videos coming to you here from CES in Las Vegas. Uh, if you guys want, if you guys want to help support this trip and help buy me a drink while I'm here, uh, hit my links down below. There are a couple of ways that you can support me. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm looking forward to my a great day here at CES in Las Vegas, and I hope to see you on another video very, very soon. Take care.